guys, welcome back to another War of Rights video. Today we're going to be playing on Roulette Lane, and uh, we're going to be spectating for this battle. So it has been a very long time since I posted, and I am so sorry for that. I've uh, just been busy with college and other things, uh, but we are back, and we're going to be watching this fight go down. Uh, so we do have Union troops across the field. <laughs> oh, no. oh, this man dodging bullets. Don't know what he's doing over there in the open like that, running away from his guys. Uh, but anyways, pretty solid volley there from the Union troops, actually knocking down the flag bear. Uh, looks like he did get back up, or someone did pick up that flag. Uh, we got a Rambo trying to stab someone through the fence. Uh, and these guys are now on the move, so getting a volley off, and they're going to be pushing right into Union positions. Officer going down, losing their chain of command, but they're going to continue with the charge. They're going to be trying to push these guys off the objective. As you can tell, Union troops are not budging by any means. And they're going to be shooting these guys down as they do make it across into their position. Now, it looks like both flag bears are here. Um, really even fight. But I do think the Confederates might be able to hold by just a little bit. But if more Union troops do come over, they will be in some trouble. Now, these flag bears need to be safe. Uh, stay in the back of the line. And it looks like both are still remaining, so they will be able to get some more respawns in. And now these guys are going to be falling back, uh, getting overrun. And they're going to be sent back to this other fence line. Uh, so losing about maybe half of the objective. As you can tell, the capture point is just over here. Let me show you guys where it's at. Um, hmm, where is it at? <laughs> Well, anyways, it should be right over here in between these two forces. Um, but Confederates doing a really solid job flanking around and overwhelming that Union right flank. So in the meantime, these guys are now going to be engaging uh, from a distance. They're going to be regaining their strength. It looks like we have a Rambo Confederate soldier. He's going to be taking a knee behind the stone wall. Looks like he's going to be aiming. Let's see how his shot is. I did hear someone drop. I think he did manage to get a kill. As you can tell, the officer ordering his men to fire at will. Um, but really, not a bad job from both sides. Both doing their absolute best to try and hold this capture point. Uh, it looks like some Union troops, excuse me, Confederate forces have reformed the line. Uh, more so to the right to get a different angle of approach. Uh, so somewhat of a pincer movement, as you can tell. Two forces aiming in on one line for the Union. Now taking a look at reinforcements, they're going to be slowly trickling in from the spawn point. Uh, looks like we have maybe two lines here. And they're going to be going right down the middle. Um, as you can tell, some open ground to cover. So Confederate forces will have uh, a pretty easy time picking these guys off if they do decide to engage. And it looks like they are taking some shots, but they're going to be hogging this fence line, trying to get as much cover as possible. Now hopping the fence line and back to their previous position. So Confederates still on this side. It looks like these smaller force is going to be uh, on this left flank here. Let's take a look at their point of view. They do have some pretty easy... <laughs> oh man, that guy just got domed. Uh, but using this cover... Uh, as best as they can. As you can tell, some guys are trying to push out. Probably not the smartest idea. As you can tell, they are dropping like flies right now. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to go down too. Go, go, go. Take that. I think they might be charging. NCO getting shot down. Other NCOs going to be leading this charge towards Confederate positions. Will they make it is the question, though. I don't think they're going to have enough numbers to try and beat back these guys. Not the smartest idea. It looks like more Confederate reinforcements are coming in. Will he get the Confederate officer? He will. And just like that, that Union line has been decimated. Get a couple... <laughs> oh, these ragdolls are too good. Got two brave souls here trying to hold on for dear life. One guy going down, and this other guy... He's going to be running for his life. We will see if he's going to be able to make it back. I really don't think so. But you never know. Wow. Look at him stabbing guys as he retreats. So once again, another failed attack by the Union troops. And it looks like a Confederate counterattack now. 
They're going to be pushing on to these guys. They know the unit troops are weak in numbers at the moment. Uh, but we will see how well this Union line can hold. As you can tell, the officer taking some shots. Oh, collateral damage there. I think that was one shot with Bucket Ball taking both of those guys out. Uh, we got good old Johnny Boy over here standing in the open. Not too sure what he is thinking. Uh, he's probably like, oh, I don't need cover, man. Cover is for the weak. <laughs> Uh, clearly not. But anyways, they're going to be continuing to engage. Uh, Flag Bear running out into the open quite a bit. We got the officer here taking some pot shots at Union troops in the distance. Uh, we do have some skirmishers over here in the woods. Just a couple of them. We've got an NCO and a private. And they have some pretty nice shots, as you can tell. They're going to be shooting straight through that bush and straight onto Confederate positions. Now Confederate forces playing is smart. They know they can't get shot taking a knee, uh, so they will be crouched behind the stone wall. But here they go. An attack coming in for the Confederates. Unit troops, will they be prepared? They do have a couple guys in this house to kind of create some extra resistance if this line does falter. Officer at the front of the line trying to gun these guys down, managing to get another private. And some point-blank shots for these guys. Officer finally going down. Confederate officer pushing in out of rounds. He's going to be pulling out his saber and slashing these guys down. All oh, these Union troops need to turn around. They don't know what's behind them. Oh, it looks like this guy's uh, a little bit of a tough position. <laughs> oh, man. The bow of shame. Let's take a look inside the building. It looks like Confederate forces did manage to clear this out. Uh, and now it is completely under Confederate control, losing the capture point. Both sides are engaged, but another Union line has arrived uh, from the spawn point and once again engaging. But with these Confederates on the objective, Union troops are really going to have to push in and try and take this point back. As you can tell, these guys are really in a good position. Uh, fence line protecting them from both angles of attack if the Union troops do decide to take the stone wall. Uh, but they're going to be needing a lot more reinforcements, and as you can tell, they are going to be coming in. Got another horde of troops. Officer with his men going to be pushing in and trying to take back what was theirs. Now both sides are engaged. Like I said, oh, ooh, was that the officer that just went down? No, that was the NCO. Lucky. Lucky it wasn't the officer. That would have been bad. Here is the officer leading the way. We will see. It looks like they're going to be taking an approach from the left flank. Pretty smart, going to be trying to take this house back. I don't know if there are Confederate forces within the house. But if there is, uh, it's going to be very hard for them to win that. Uh, Confederate forces seem to be holding strong. And these Union troops, really not too sure what to do. Oh no, officer behind you, buddy. <laughs> Confederate reaction time is, is on point right now. Um... Anyone that peeks this corner is going to be taking a bullet to the face. Surprised that guy actually didn't take one. <laughs> um, and that guy just cl Man. Situal. <laughs> they, oh, man. They, they are not aware of their surroundings by any means right now. <laughs> oh, I love this Union soldier. Look at this. <laughs> man. What a way to go. Just get your head locked up in a, uh, in a fence. Anyways, Union troops definitely having a tough time here on the left side of this house. Um, Confederate forces just locking this down. Uh, nice shot there from this private, private hawk with the point blank shots. Um, but Confederate forces just dominating this battle right now. And it is going to be almost under Confederate control in just a couple of seconds. Now it seems to be a desperate charge here for the Union troops. Not a smart idea at all. Attacking with about two guys is going to really uh, damage them in terms of tickets being out of formation. Uh, taking a knee. Let's see what this guy's shot is. Nope. No, they got He's going to be taking one. What about this guy here? Oh, are they aware of this guy by the fence line? I don't think they are. Not at all. Man, so now taking losses for the Union troops, things are not looking good. Things are not looking good at all. 
Now, if I were the Union officer, I would definitely order my men to try and group up as much as possible and try to storm that house. As you can tell, they did have a decent position here behind this house. Uh, but definitely set up a defensive position along this fence line and just engage unleash lead now the only benefit the union troops have at this point is their spawn location they are a little bit closer to the spawn area meaning that they will get reinforcements at a faster rate so they need to set up a good line uh, of defense and then slowly just dwindle these confederates down until they have enough numbers to push but time is against them right now confederates about half of the way done with capturing this objective and they are in some numbers, in numbers, a lot of numbers. Um, looks like Confederate forces are going to be extending their flanks a little bit, trying to get some better angles. But here we go. Moment of truth. This will make it or break it for the Union Army. They're going to be pushing in mass. Fantastic move here for the Union troops. Now what they need to do here is just get reloads, get on the capture point, and start dwindling down these confederate forces now these flag bears are going to be crucial to this engagement these guys do need to remain standing otherwise those reinforcements will not come in and they are doing a great job of dodging those bullets um, they're starting to get a little weak over here on this left flank but the capture point is still going up more union troops really need to shift down on that capture point because the game is just about to end Yep, yep, they need to charge, and here they go. Confederate forces engaged, Union troops breaking, and look at that. Capture point starting to go down, and just in the nick of time, they did manage to save uh, the points and the game. So they are still able to uh, hold on for a bit longer. Fantastic move there from the Union troops, and these flag bears watching their brothers die have no other choice but to retreat now these are some high targets here if the Union troops are able to take these guys out it's definitely gonna hurt these uh, Confederate forces in terms of reinforcements and this man is dodging like crazy but finally going down and there they go so breaking morale not looking good for the Union troops but their numbers are back. Now hopefully they can try and counter this next wave of Confederates and they are going to be flooding over and uh, they might even be trying to enter this house. That would not be a bad idea at all. NCO charging on his own. Man, two NCOs. I guess uh, probably not the smartest idea. I got a couple guys charging out. They're, they're trying to take out as many of these Union troops as possible. Let's take a look around the house. What exactly is going on over here? Looks like they are going to be once again massing troops and getting ready for a next attack. As you can tell, flag bear behind. Getting those respawns. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it, officer. It's not worth it. Okay, so it looks like he's just going to be peeking around the corner to take a look at uh, just how many guys are over here. Now, a really solid defense here from the Union troops. A massive line. And they're going to be gunning these guys down as they do peek around this building. So let's take a look over at the right flank. Looks like everything... Uh, see oh, no. Uh-oh. Alright, so once again, another attack from the left. Are the Union troops aware of this? And it looks like they are. They're going to be shifting down some forces to counter this. They did lose this engagement last time, so maybe they can understand what they did wrong and try and capitalize on this point here. Because uh, this flank is going to prove crucial to whoever wins it. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Running for the flank. He did manage to get it, but can he get out in time? Do they see him? They do. And there he goes. So brave. Um, charge or push there for the flank. He got pretty close. He did allow for the flank to be a little bit closer to the main line. And here we go. Another brave soul trying to rush for that flank. And I think he will be able to make it back. Fantastic job there. But look at this. Confederate forces now taking the point. Union troops unaware on this right flank. They need to push in. This game is just about to be over. Uh, without reinforcements. I think this is going to be a victory for the Confederates. 
Man, I am speaking too soon. Look at that. Union troops coming back in. And look at this. This is insane. Once again, in the nick of time, taking back this capture point. Uh, <laughs> and it is just mind-blowing. You think the Union troops are about to lose, and they just somehow pull it out uh, and manage to take back the objective. Look at this officer going all along. Is that Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing, man? Aren't you supposed to be in D.C. right now? <laughs> Got Abraham Lincoln uh, as the officer. <laughs> That's great. All right. So back over here on the left flank, looks like a couple more Confederate forces behind the house. Let's take a look at inside the house. I'm really surprised there aren't more people in here. It looks like one guy. And this, this is the dream spot right here. All the targets a man could ever wish for. As you can tell, bullets entering the building, narrowly dodging that. And here we go. Union troops being sent in to try and clear this house out. They, knew, they know this is a crucial point, but they don't realize just how many guys are behind here. You got a couple guys try to step through the window. I don't think it works like that, buddy. <laughs> but not a smart move here from the Union troops. Charging individually, they're going to be losing a lot of tickets. We got Abraham Lincoln ordering his men to stay back. They are not listening, and as a result, this man is about to get dropped. But here we go, pushing in to the house. I am just waiting for an attack for these Confederates. And here they go, flanking around the left flank. Abraham Lincoln, unaware of what is going on. He seems to be running for his life. And it looks like the bayonet killed him and not a bullet. So a little bit of a different uh, story there, or history. And I think this might be the, uh, the final straw that breaks the camel's back. Union troops in a very, very tough spot at this point. Confeder con excuse me. <laughs> Confederates taking the objective. And with the Union troops at final stand, uh, that means any Union troop that does die, uh, they will not be able to spawn back in. So every loss really matters at this point for these guys. Once you die, you are dead for good. No respawning. So they're going to have to play this extremely smart. And they're going to have to wait these 24 minutes out. Or uh, take these Confederates from taking losses all the way to breaking. Uh, which is extremely hard to do with these circumstances. And now Union troops getting the order to uh, push up because they are out of uh, the capture point. Flag Bear, what are you doing, man? Flag Bear pushing in, losing the flag, but not too big of an issue uh, for the Confederates. Now Confederate forces are breaking. Here we go. So regrouping here. Definitely a close battle though. This, this is very intense. These guys gotta play it smart though. I don't know why they're deciding to push up like this. Not a smart move at all. Let's see what he can do. Can he breach all by himself? I'm just waiting for someone to open this door and they just get blasted in the face. <laughs> we'll see. Anyone inside just camping the door? No. And they're going to be falling back. Now there are some Confederate forces within that building. So they do, do need to watch those windows. As you can tell, some are shooting out from the second floor. Let's take a look inside and see where this guy is at. Just a couple in there. Nothing too much to worry about, but here we go. Confederate attack about to commence. Ooh, flag bear going down. <laughs> Looks like no one's going to want to pick it up either. Leaving the flag behind, not a good idea. But here they go, Confederates now attacking. So epic. <laughs> oh man. This is awesome. Valiant charge there from the Confederates. Charge is still continuing. Flag Bear now running away. <laughs> oh, 
And he's gonna be running back down south. Will he get the flag bear? Uh oh, he's getting hit in the back. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Look at all that remains for this entire force. Just about five guys. <laughs> And they need to get on the point. They got 25 seconds. There they go. Alright, let's take a look. So no respawns like I said. Oh man, Confederates are going to have a cakewalk. Now these these five brave men, the final five. The flag bear does not matter anymore for the Union Force. So it is a smart move there for not picking it up. But here comes the zombie apocalypse. Oh man. Oh, down to two, and that will be the game. So Confederates victorious, but what a fantastic match. Uh, 329 losses for the Confederates and 374 for the Union. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so sorry once again for being gone so long, but I am back. I will try and post as many videos as possible. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.